Hey there, I'm SourceMake, and in this video, we are going to deploy our own smart contract to the Ethereum blockchain using Ethereum Mist, otherwise known as Ethereum Wallet. So we're going to look at installing Ethereum Mist in this video, and we're going to go through it together. And we're going to look at some very basic smart contract code just to use it as an example to make our own token. So this video is really geared toward developers who are getting started with Ethereum and they just want a hello world example to know what's going on. But it's going to be really simple and it's really also useful for people who are not technical, who don't know about coding or anything like that. You should really follow along anyway just to see how this process works because it's nice to talk about things in theory, but you should actually know what's going on when people talk about these things just to see how it actually works in the real world. So if you are completely new to blockchain, I have this other blog post, this other video on YouTube that you can get below this video. You, there'll be links to this. So um, I have a video on 10 simple questions for blockchain that I'll explain everything in 10 minutes. Do watch that before this video if you are new just to know what's going on. But in this video, what we are going to be doing is we're going to give a brief introduction to Ethereum smart contracts. Just a really quick description. We are going to look at installing Ethereum Mist, otherwise known as otherwise known as wallet onto our computer. We are going to set up our Ethereum wallet by switching networks because, you know, things exist on the main Ethereum network, but there are also test networks that we want to do our coding on because, you know, you don't want to risk doing money or testing code on the real network. In that same light, we are going to create our own wallet. So an Ethereum wallet is basically just an account that we are going to do things from. So you want to make, you know, deploy our contracts hold our money, our Ether, or do other transactions, you need an account to do that. We're going to look at setting one of those up. And we are going to create our own smart contract. And you can see that I have some example code right here. I promise you it's really simple. It just looks a little intimidating because I wrote a lot of comments on it. But we're going to go through it quickly just to see how, it's, how simple it is to make our own token. And we are going to actually deploy the smart contract code to the Ethereum blockchain using Mist, which is what we talked about because, you know, we have this code, but you need to push it onto the blockchain to test it out. We're going to look at doing that. And this sounds like a lot, wow. But um, once our contract is deployed, how do we actually use it? Well, you know, you actually need to do something afterward, and we're going to see how we use Mist to do that. And finally, we're just going to have a couple of links to some Solidity tutorials because Solidity is the programming language that you write the smart contracts in. We're not going to go over it. We're just going to, you know, point to some other links, and maybe do some future videos on that. So I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm going to try to get to it quickly just, you know, for the sake of time because this is actually a really simple process. So to start out with, Oh, by the way, these resources are going to be on my website right here. You can see them. If you want to get to this webpage, then below this video, there's going to be a link to everything I just talked about. You really should do that to follow along and do this yourself on your own computer when we're done with this video. So I highly recommend it. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel because I'm going to be making more content like this. And it's really in your best interest to follow along and see what's going on. Just, you know. Because it's, a, I, I personally think this is going to be a really good resource. So do subscribe to this YouTube channel and keep up. So with that said, let's get started. An introduction to Ethereum smart contracts. You guys should know by now that Ethereum is just a blockchain platform. And the thing about it is that it supports smart contracts. And smart contracts are written in the Solidity programming language. And what they are is just really tiny programs, which are just like a set of rules. So, so you have some instructions you want to write, which is just what programming is. You type them in a certain language and the computer executes them. And that's what a smart contract is, except you push it onto the Ethereum blockchain to be executed whenever it's necessary. And that's a really simple way to describe it. I like that. So what we're going to do next is we are going to install Ethereum Mist, otherwise known as Wallet. And that's just going to be the middleman, the tool we use to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. So I'm going to switch over. I'm on Windows 10 right now, but you see I have my Ubuntu 16 virtual machine right here. So this is just my test. Um, it's not a big deal, but this is just what I like to do my work in. So. I'm going to make this full screen, and this is what we're going to be using, Ubuntu 16 virtual machine for the rest of this. You can do this on Mac or, you know, any other Linux, but this is just what I like to do. So what we're going to do is let me just make sure the page is refreshed to make sure that this blog post is current. And we're going to install Ethereum Mist, which, again, is what we're going to be doing. Um, it, it's the middle map for interacting with Ethereum. So from the Ethereum homepage, what we want to do is we want to click the download button. If we scroll down a little, you can see it perfect. And there's this little policy that says you understand that you're playing with real money. So, you know, be good about it. 
and I'll, we can make this a little bit bigger, right? So what we want to install is Ethereum Wallet Linux 64 because I'm on Ubuntu. You can see that there are installers for like other Windows and Mac and whatever. So do whatever is best for you. And you can see that we're downloading this. So this is going to get downloaded into, of course, a downloads folder. So I'm going to open this files and we're going to go to downloads. And this is a fresh Ubuntu 16 virtual machine. I don't have anything else on it. And you can see that this zip is what we just got. So I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to extract it. You can see really basic stuff, very basic computer stuff. And for some reason, it all just extracts into the downloads folder. It's pretty messy. You think it would have its own folder, but just keep that in mind. So what we care about is this Ethereum wallet executable file that shows up. Now, what you want to do is you want to double click this. So these are a bunch of dependencies, so make sure you have all of them, like in whatever folder you want to keep your Ethereum wallet in. For this tutorial, I'm just going to throw this into the downloads folder because I really don't care personally. It's it's fine with me because this is on a virtual machine. But if you want to keep your own machine clean, that's what you would do. You know, just put it in its own folder. But we're going to launch Ethereum wallet, and you can see this little pop-up showed up. And you're going to click launch application when this is ready. And you can see, ta-da, Ethereum wallet is installed. And this is what it looks like. This is our middleman for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain. So let's go back to the website and let me just make this a little smaller. And let's scroll down a little bit. So we installed it and look how simple that was. All we did was, you know, unzip the file that we downloaded from the internet and we clicked the executable file. That's all you have to do. And what we want to do is we want to switch networks. Now we're going to go to the top of the screen and you're going to go to develop and you're going to network. And we're on the main Ethereum network right now, but for our testing purposes, you know, we just want to work on our own test network. So the, our, there are two other networks here. Rinkaby is the one, or, or Ropsten. These are famous ones that you could test on, but we're going to do a solo network right now. And the reason we're going to do a solo network is because, remember, to push things onto the Ethereum blockchain costs gas. It costs Ether. You know, it's not free. You have to pay money to actually have people execute your contract. So... For our development purposes, instead of like, you know, spending actual Ether, we're just going to do the solo network because you see right here, what happens when we go to the solo network is we have an account created for us and we've got basically infinite Ether money to, to spend and play around with. So you saw we just switched networks. That's all it took. And the next thing that you could do, now if you are on one of the test networks, you're not going to have this account created for you. What you want to do is you want to create your own account. And the way that works is you want to go to file, you want to go to new account, and you know you just go through these instructions to set up a password, and it'll create an account for you. But we have one set up, so I'm not going to do that. So that's how you would create your own account for the real Ethereum network or the test network, but we don't need to do that. So you know that's, that's just how you would do it. And the bad reason for, the reason you would use a solo network is because remember, you need Ether to push these smart contracts onto the blockchain. So even if you go to like the Rinkaby network, you're not gonna have any free Ether. You would need to do some mining to get that Ether, which would, you'd have to click this button right here, which we'll click right now, we'll start mining, whatever. But remember, you, you need Ether to, push these contracts onto the blockchain. So, so keep that in mind for anything you do. If you ever are like, why can't I do this? Or why am I using the solar network? It's because of that reason. So that was it. Our, our wallet is set up. Our MIST is set up. So we have this Ethereum code right here in Solidity that we want to use. So let's take a look at the code really quickly. And for that, let me maximize Firefox so you can read along You can make this super big. So this is the code that I wrote. It is not secure. Do not use this like for your, for your real you know deployment this is just like a specific little test so this is how the code works let's go through it quickly you've got pragma solidity 4.20 which is just the solidity version we're using the programming language we've got this contract which is the actual smart contract that we have and it's named source make token so that's the name of the contract and we've got this mapping thing that says mapping from an address to a uint named balances now this is just going to be for our token. It's going to map an address to an integer. So, so for example, maybe I, my Ethereum wallet has a certain address and that address has 200 source make tokens. That's what this array is going to store. And you know, that's what we need on our token to keep track of 
who has what tokens. We've got this function here that is going to initialize a, a supply for our token. So, you know, we don't start out with zero tokens. Maybe we want in our system to start out with a thousand tokens. and That's what we want. That's just a nice uh, initialization function that you can see right here. And finally, we have a transfer function. So you want to transfer, maybe I want to transfer some of my tokens to one of my friends. What would I do? I'd have this function right here that will let us specify an address of my friend and the amount of tokens that we want to send to them. And this code is just going to execute that. So this is really basic code. It's not a big deal. So let's copy and paste this. Let me scroll up a little and make this super huge. Okay, that's all we need. No, 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 let's, uh... oh my gosh, okay. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Copying and pasting is super hard. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to minimize Firefox again back to where it was. And so, so how do we deploy this code onto um, the Ethereum blockchain? The way we do that is with Ethereum Wallet, Ethereum Mist. And you can see in this Contracts tab, if you click it, we're going to deploy a new contract. Can you see this? I don't think I can make it bigger. Can I make it bigger? It doesn't look like it, I'm sorry, but there's this thing called deploy new contract. You're gonna click it. And our base account that we have right here is this. That's what we're gonna to specify to deploy this contract from. Now, I think you could like specify some ether here, but that's not what we need to do. What we need to do is we're gonna delete this code in here and solidity contract source code. And we're going to copy and paste the code that we just went over from the website right in here. And you can see that this little loading thing is gonna happen. And what's gonna happen? Well. It's going to, Ethereum Mist is going to see that we have some contracts and we have this source make token contract, which we have, which we're going to specify from this drop down menu. And remember, we set an initial supply that we wanted to have. So what are we going to do? Let's say that we start out with 1200 tokens, just, just for the sake of it. So we enter that number right there in Ethereum Mist and we scroll down some more. And now you can pay a certain fee, the gas cost to deploy this contract onto Ethereum right here. Since we're on the solo network, it's free, but we, you know this cost is gonna exist if you're on the test network or the real network, so do keep an eye on that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the deploy button. So this is gonna pop up and you know if you wanna send your transaction, this is gonna give you a little, you know, what's gonna happen. Do pay attention to this maybe. But for now, we're just going to click send transaction because it's a really simple, you know, test example. I don't want to go too into the best practices in this video. We'll do another video on that. And you can see what happened was, let's maximize this. What happened was down here, we can see that our latest transaction has this contract deployed. Now, this is where I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is a little buggy. So for some reason or another, um, this contract, you're not, you can't really see it, but it says zero out of 12 confirmations here. And you're waiting for other people on the blockchain to confirm that, hey, this contract looks good. Let me mine it and actually make this happen. But it hasn't happened yet. So one of the bug fixes that I, I like to do is I like to deploy the contract again. So I'm going to copy and paste this same contract, source make token. This time let's set up 100 tokens. And this is like a really weird fix, but you know, it's, it's what you gotta do to get this to work. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna deploy it again, send contract. And this time you see now two out of 12 confirmations happen. You can't see it that much, but um, if you scroll down here, you can see this was our latest transaction. And this one, you see the progress bar moved a little and two out of 12 transaction confirmations happened. That means that, you know, a little bit of our blockchain, um, of our smart contract got pushed onto the blockchain which is this really weird process. I don't really want to get into too many details with it. Maybe we'll use a different middleman instead of mist in the future, but that's just what you have to do to test it out. So now that our contract for all intents and purposes is deployed onto the Ethereum blockchain on our solo network right now, how do we actually use it? Well, what you want to do is you want to go to this contracts tab and you can see under our custom contracts, now our contract, our original contract showed up since there were some confirmations. So we're going to click it and you can see that we have some options right here. So what else did we specify in our contract? Well, we had this transfer function, right? And this transfer function can specify a two address that we want to send some tokens to and the amount of tokens that we want to send. And you can see that right here. And it, it, if you do like specify someone's address, you know, your friend's Ethereum wallet address, and you want to send them maybe a hundred tokens, then you can execute that right here. And of course, depending on the contract, like, you know, sophistication, what functions they have available to it. 
there'll be more functions here and there'll be more options and you can do whatever you need to do to actually get this done. So that's just how you actually use the contract once it's deployed and actually interact with the tokens that we have. Because remember, what we did was we made source make tokens and this is how you would do that. Now, there are other tutorials on this, but this was just to get started. And the important thing here is that, remember, these smart contracts are written in Solidity, the programming language. So I have some resources here if you want to click them to actually learn some more Solidity, you know, so you can make more advanced smart contracts and know what's going on. Maybe I will make more videos on that, so do keep an eye out. And that's basically it. So, so just to recap, um, we wanted to make an Ethereum smart contract. We wrote the code for it. And we install, installed, we downloaded Ethereum Mist, otherwise known as Ethereum Mollet, and you saw that how we used it to actually switch to a solo network. And we deployed our own contract, which was really basic, but you see how it works in theory. And now we can actually do things like sending our own tokens, which is what the contract did, to one of our friends' Ethereum addresses. And of course, in the future, if you want more sophisticated contracts, contracts that interact with each other, um, or, or full dApps, decentralized apps where, you know, you have like a website or an app and the back end is um, furnished with blockchain. The back end, you know, is, is done with blockchain. Then that's something else you could do. But this was just a nice getting started guide. So I'm Sourcemake. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more Ethereum videos, do subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the like and comment buttons for this video so that I know to make more of these tutorials. Because otherwise I'm just going to make more like database videos or something like that. I, I need to know that you like Ethereum. So do leave those comments and likes. So I'm Source Make. We will be doing more videos in the future on like security and you know more complicated stuff. So do keep an eye out. Um, thanks for watching.